Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you a tool that you can use to profile your tile applications. So this is DevTools built by a company called Crab Nebula. And we will see how we can hook up our file browser that we built in the previous video to this DevTools. So the first thing you will have to do is to find the main.rust file. So that is in source dash towery in your root folder and inside that folder find the source folder again and here is the main.rust file. So here you have to do two steps. The first step is to initialize the DevTools plugin and the second step is to register that plugin with the Tauri Builder. You can save this file, open the next file that we will have to edit. That is the cargo.toml file. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But essentially, you will have to register the DevTool dependency here. So under dependencies, add DevTools with this version. You will find the version number on their GitHub page. So this is the GitHub. Here under getting started, you will see Tauri v1 and all the things you have to do to the cargo.toml file. So here is the DevTool version. We already have the Tauri version there in a slightly different format. And yeah, the build dependencies is also there. So that's it. Save this file as well. Now open your terminal and type npx Tauri dev. So the app will start as usual. Let me bring it up here. But you will see one more outline that you usually don't see. That is the DevTools URL you can use to access the debugger for this application that you just started. So you can either use this and copy and paste it into your browser, or you can go here to DevTools and click this inspect button. It will do the same thing and attach to the same application. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So for example, this is a console that prints out all the events that originate from the tower application. So if I move the window, you will see this new window did move events logged on the console. Now, if you switch the calls, you will see here calls to the tower API. Let me sort this by initiated like this. Okay. And let me open a folder. Now you can see the last call is file system dot read there. That's what's called when I open one of these directories. You can see when the call was initiated and how long it took to execute. So for opening uh, bigger folders, I would expect it to take longer. Let's find something like a node modules. Yeah, so that took almost like five milliseconds, which is also insanely fast, but it is enough to see the differences. The next step we will check out is sources. So sources is essentially what you have in the src towery folder here. So these are the same files. You can't really edit them here, but you can see their contents and uh, that's pretty much it. And the final tab is towery. So here you can inspect the loaded configuration, package files like product name and version, and also the details of your towery conf.json. For example, we have here the allow list set up in a specific way to enable file operations for this application. So you can see that here. And this is pretty much all you can do with this DevTools right now. One problem I run into with Brave was that my shields were up when I tried to access this DevTools the first time. So let me turn my shields on again. And I got this connection failed error and I couldn't do anything about it. And I realized I have to turn off the shields for this DevTools to work. And that's pretty much it. I'm curious how you are going to use this tool if you heard about it or maybe know some alternatives. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.